What is up guys, my name is Steven Womack. Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. Today I wanna to be talking about a request I got from Johan. You commented under my last three videos. Um, you were asking for Austin X hair. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Um, an Instagrammer that is also a YouTuber, um, as I found out after research. And he does that really desaturated, almost taken everything out except for the oranges um, look. It's not exactly my type of style or my type of edit, but of course I'm here for you guys and I want to show you how to create that Austin X hair inspired look. Joanne, if you're watching this, I hope this helps you a lot and gives you the result that you want. Um, for everybody else watching, I hope you like this look and you like the result that you get from that, from that look. Check out my presets on my website. I've created presets for you guys, Lightroom mobile presets that you can throw over your pictures to make them look great. There's also a lot of other styles of presets from different Instagrammers, influencers. Check it out. And if you haven't already, of course, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button to not miss out on any of my tutorials. Also, check me out on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is the handle. I'm always up for conversation, and I'm really interested in what you guys think about my videos and what else I can do for you, what else I can help you with. Now, I've said enough. Let's jump right into that tutorial. You will only need your smartphone, of course, and the free Lightroom app. The link is also under this video for Android and iOS. So, once you have the app, you open up Lightroom, and you choose that picture. I chose this picture for demonstration because he has blonde hair. So let's hit the lights tab first. And what we want to do here is bump up the contrast to about plus 15 and bump up the highlights as well to about plus 34. And the shadows, we also want to bump them up to about 20. Nine is perfect. The whites, we also want to bump them up to about plus nine. And the blacks, we want to pull the blacks down to really get that punch in there to about negative 40, 48 is perfect. Now we're done with the lights, so we jump over to the colors tab. What we want to do here is pull down the saturation to negative 41. Around there is perfect. And now we scroll up and hit the color mix button. For the red tones, what we want to do is boost the saturation to about plus 28. That's it for the reds. Jump over to the orange tones. And here we want to boost the hue to about plus 16. And the saturation, we want to boost that because the skin tones mostly, we want to boost that to plus 53. Now the luminance, we want to pull that down to give them a little tan to about negative 24 is perfect. And we jump over to the yellow tones. We pull out the saturation all the way, negative 100. Jump over to the green tones, same thing. Pull down the saturation all the way. The aqua tones, we're going to leave them as they are. And for the blue tones, also we're gonna pull down the saturation all the way to negative 100. Same thing to the purple tones and also the pink tones all the way down to negative 100. Now we're done here and we jump over to the effects tab and we just wanna boost up the clarity a little bit. In this case, to about plus 33 is perfect and Right after that, we hit that split toning button over here. And what we wanna do is pull the shadows into that blue area a little bit. So we pull it over to around 230, 31. And a saturation of 13 is perfect. So we're done here and that's it. Here's a before and after. And I think we really hit that Austin look. Um, Joanne, I hope you're satisfied with this. Everybody else, I hope this is a good result and really helpful content for you. 
try it out. Once again, I have many more presets so you don't have to follow along to these tutorials on my website. The link is under this video. Feel free to check it out. Also, if you haven't already, once again, subscribe to my channel, hit that notifications button so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials, and also check me out on Instagram, at Stephen Womack. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Let me know what there is I can do for you. Give me some feedback, how you like my videos, and I just have to tell you, I'm so grateful for all of you guys watching my videos and giving me feedback. I've been receiving a lot of Instagram DMs lately, so uh, let's keep going. Let's all keep pushing and see where it takes us. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.